Welcome students. Let us see question number three of exercise 7.1 from the chapter distance formula of coordinate geometry. Here question is determine if the points 1, 5, 2, 3 and minus 2, minus 11 are collinear. I will advise you to go through the previous video where we have already discussed that if three points are collinear, then sum of two line segments will be equal to the third line segment. As for example, suppose A, B and C are three given points and if you find out the length of the line segments AB, BC and CA and we get the condition if we find that either AB plus BC is equal to CA or we get AB plus CA is equal to BC or we get BC plus CA is equal to AB. If any one of these cases takes place, points will be collinear means they lie on the same straight line. Position of these points A, B, C depends. Okay, we cannot say surely that B will lies between A and C average. It depends upon the given coordinates. So let us see the solution here. Here three points are given. So let us suppose that these three points are a, B and C. So coordinates of A is suppose 1, 5. Coordinate of B is 2, 3. And coordinate of C is minus 2, minus 11. Now we will find out the length of the line segments A, B, B, C and C, A. So uh, we have already discussed distance formula in previous videos that the line segment AB will have length or distance between two points A and B can be obtained with the help of this formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square where x1 y1 are coordinates of A where x1 y1 are coordinates of A and uh, x2, y2 are coordinates of B. We have also discussed that in place of x2 minus x1, if we write x1 minus x2, there will be no problem. Similarly, in place of y2 minus y1, if we write y1 minus y2, there will be no problem. Because square is here. So, square of positive or negative numbers. Both are average positive. Correct? So it doesn't matter that whether you write x2 minus x1 or x1 minus x2. Okay. Now we'll find out the length AB using this distance formula. This can be written as root over 2 minus 1 whole square plus 3 minus 5 whole square. This is equal to square root of, this is 2 minus 1 is 1 and 1 is square is 1. 3 minus 5 is minus 2 and minus 2 whole square is 4. This is equal to square root of 5. Now let us find out BC using the same distance formula. BC 2 minus of minus 2 means 2 plus 2 whole square. 3 minus of minus 11 means 3 plus 11 whole square and this is equal to this is 4 square 16 and this is 14 square 196 this is equal to 212 this 212 can also be written as 4 will be a factor 4 5 are 20 and 4 3 are 12 so 4 into 53 and square root of 4 is 2 and square root of 53 here. This is the length 
BC. Now let us find out AC or CA. This is equal to root over 1 plus 2 whole square plus 5 plus 11 whole square. This is equal to this is 1 plus 2, 3 square is 9 and uh, this is 16, 16 square is 256 so this is equal to root over 265 correct? here no factor is common here this is AC so as we have discussed here that three points will be collinear only when sum of the length of two line segments will be equal to the length of the third line segment but in this case you see none of these three cases takes place so here AB plus BC is not equal to AC also AB plus AC is not equal to BC as well as AC plus BC is not equal to AB. It means given points are not collinear. That is given points are non-collinear or you can say are not collinear. Process is very simple. Okay. So this is the answer. Our answer is that given three points are not collinear points. Okay. Hope you have understood it. Question is very important. Okay. Now we will see some more questions in other videos to come. And the students hope you have subscribed this channel and please share these videos with your friends also. Wish you all the best.